I think we're recording. All right. So in this simulation, I'll be using the link strategy to teach an independent word learning strategy to a fifth grade student with a receptive language impairment. We'll discuss how to choose a reminding word, paraphrase a definition, create a story using the reminding word, and create a picture illustrating the story. This strategy would be appropriate for a client who can sound out words phonetically and understands that words have meaning, but who needs some help connecting meaning to new words. All right, Paige, today we're going to make note cards to help us remember the meaning, <coughs> sorry, the meaning of new words. Did you bring your social studies reading page? Yes. All right, great. Let's pick two words that are hard to understand. I see domesticate and nomad on this page. Do you understand what those new words mean? No. Okay. Well, let's use our note cards to help us learn the meanings. We have a note card right here. And let's draw a long line down the middle of one side of the note card like that. First, we'll write the word at the top of our note cards and circle it. Let's start with domesticate. Now we have our word on our card. And let's look up what domesticate means in the dictionary. Okay. We can type it into our online dictionaries. And it looks like domesticate means to adapt an animal or plant over time from a wild or natural state, especially by selective breeding to life, to life in close association with and to the benefit of humans. So that's a very long definition. So another way we could say this is to take a wild plant or animal and make them tame for humans to use. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Now we'll think of a reminding word to help us understand what domesticate means. Can you think of anything? It should be a word that you already know that reminds you of how domesticate looks or sounds. Hmm. When I look at domesticate, hmm, I see that it looks like the word nest. That's perfect. I'll use that as my reminding word. So I'll write that at the bottom of my card, just like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's flip the card over and we need to draw another long line down the middle and a short line that makes two boxes at the bottom, just like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the big box at the top, let's write the definition of domesticate in a way that's easy to understand. So we'll just use what we said before, to take a wild plant or animal and make them tame for humans to use. Now let's make up a story sentence that uses our reminding word and our simple definition. It can be anything that helps you remember what domesticate means. For example, I'll write, the duck, or, yes, I'm thinking about a duck. So, all right, the duck became tame when the human built it a nest because that uses our definition and our reminding word of nest. Now we need to draw a picture that will show us the story in the bottom right box. This story makes me think of 
a duck walking into a nest house that a human is building for it. So this is what the back of my card looks like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this card is done. I'll put it down now and see if you can remember all the things we did. What was the word we chose? Domesticate. You're right. And what was the reminding word? Nest. Mm -hmm. What picture did we draw to show us that? We drew a little person building a nest. Mm -hmm. And what was the story of that picture? The duck became tame when the human built it a nest. Great job. And what was the short definition we came up with? To take a wild plant or animal and make them tame for humans use. Great job remembering all the clues we chose to define domesticate. Thank you. And then after Paige and I completed that process, we would repeat it for the word nomad, and this would be the card we would create. And that concludes our links demonstration.